if you want to know how you can create a chain brush in Procreate 5X, just keep on watching. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natalia, the creator behind Akai Hana Art. And for this community, I create videos and assets for illustration, design, and digital planning. So if you like this kind of topics, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you won't miss anything, and like the video if you want to watch more videos related to this topic. So you guys, this video is one of the most requested videos on my channel. A couple of years ago, I created this same video and soon enough, Procreate updated from Procreate 4 to Procreate 5. And people wasn't able to follow the step-by-step -step tutorial. So they've been asking me to redo this same video. A year ago, I tried to make a video, but not in depth. You know, like I did a couple of brushes showing you how you can create different type of brushes. but. People wanted me to be more specific. So before we dive in, in the video, I want to, sh to let you know a couple of things. First of all, this is going to be the first video of a series of videos on how to create brushes in Procreate. So we are going to be creating a shape brush, a pattern brush, a stamp brush, a painting brush, and things like that. And the second news is that all the brushes that we create in this type of videos, I'm going to be giving them away for free. And you know me, I like to load my videos with value and goodies for you. If you're not subscribed, I totally recommend you to because you want to get notified when I upload these type of videos. So, without further ado, let's get to the Procreate app and start creating our chain brush. Okay, you guys, let's begin by creating the thumbnail. For that, we need to have a square canvas that uh, is going to be, uh, the background is going to be black. It's going to be pitch black. Um, then on top, we are going to create the shape that is going to be the foundation of our repetitive pattern brush. In this case, it's going to be the chain. So this time it's going to be a little bit different because I've, uh, it's been two years. And in these two years, I've learned so much about uh, brush creating. So okay we're going to start by creating an oval shape and then we are going to try to render it to look like a realistic chain for that we need a white color it has to be white all white we are going to be creating another oval shape a smaller we are going to merge those um, layers together we are going to refine it a little bit because I use um, a brush that when I push a little bit, it's going to be wider. Uh, so I wanted to refine a little bit the oval shape so, so it looks perfect. You could do this with the round brush and it's going to be better, but you know me, I like the hard way. <laughs> okay. Now the shape is perfect and we need to make it number one smaller and the other thing is that we need to alpha log that layer because we are going to be rendering to look a realistic chain. So we are going to be using a gray color. We are going to select the layer of the oval shape and on top of that layer we are going to create another layer and with that color gray we are going to be creating the shadows of the um, of the chain like this 
And I wanted to be in another layer because we are going to be tweaking a little bit that layer, for example, using Gaussian Blur. Um, so it help, help the look of a shadow. And we're going to be adding the shadows in the place that where the light doesn't hit. Then we're going to uh, make Gaussian blur, add Gaussian blur to that the to the that layer, and we are going to merge those two together. It's not perfect, and it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be a chain. So the images are going to be pretty much small. So it just has to look like. Um, now we're going to be doing the other part of the chain. So for this, we are going to be just doing um, just one face because the chain it's looking on the side. Um, and we're going to do the same. We're going to draw the part and we're going to select this layer and with that layer on top, we are going to be creating the shadow with that same gray. And we are going to use Gaussian Blur to um, create the shadow um, look. And here we have our thumbnail. We need to merge all of that together, center it, and we are going to export that layer as a PNG. Also, you can export it as a JPEG, it doesn't matter. Now, um, to create the brush, I like to have a white canvas. We're going to select plus on the top of all the brushes. Like this, we are going to create a new brush set that is going to be chain brush. And to that, on the plus on the right up corner, okay. To start, we are going to be adding our thumbnail. So shape, import, and we're going to import our thumbnail from the camera roll. We're going to turn it horizontally and we're going to be tweaking from the top down all the brush uh, settings. So we're going to start with the spacing at the stroke path and then the streamline. Uh, this doesn't have to be perfect because we can keep moving those until we have uh, the brush that we want. So in a stroke, we need to up rotation until it says follow the stroke. Then we in Apple Pencil, we are going to down the opacity uh, down to none. And then in properties, we need to uh, remove, we need to change the sizes so if we want to create a really small chain, we can do this. Now, we might need to tweak a bunch of things. Uh, my brush did that because I need to undo the orient screen. So the image is going to follow my stroke. Okay, if we don't do this, uh, the chain won't uh, follow the stroke. Um, and then the thing that we have to keep on tweaking is the spacing that it was in the stroke path. Right now it looks great. I just wanted to up a little bit the opacity so we can see the lights and the shadows in the, of the thumbnail. And I've been tweaking the spacing. Uh, so when I create the brush, it looks like this, like it's realistic. When we are happy with this, we just name our brush, like chain brush. We add our picture. This is very important if you, if you are going to be creating brushes. This part is very important because thank God Procreate is a platform that allows creators to save their brushes and people cannot change the name and resell them. 
So that's pretty nice. Um, and now we can change color and we can play around with our chain brush. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find it useful and you were able to learn how to create a chain brush in Procreate. Remember that this is a repetitive pattern brush and you can create with this type of brushes, you can create things like chains, braids, uh, checklists and things like that. So have in mind that this is not only um, the process for a chain, but also for different type of brushes. Remember also that you can download the brush that we created today in the description down below. Also, I will leave a link in the description down below to my Etsy shop where I sell brushes for illustration, design, and digital planning. Also, a uh, shout out to my Patreons. They allow me to create these type of videos for you and the assets for that I sell on my Etsy store. And I also have an amazing community in Patreon that is exclusive right now for digital planning. So if you are into digital planning and you are interested in knowing a little bit more, I will leave the link in the, for the Patreon community in the description down below. So if you like videos like this and you want to watch more videos about it, please give it a thumbs up and spread the love by sharing to the people that you think might be interested in this type of topics. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.